Once upon a time, a man with money met up with a man with experience. Before long, the man with experience got the money. And the man with the money got an experience. That's a story I've heard my dad tell over the years, and it depicts two things. Number one, experience has two definitions. A noun, a thing you can possess, obtain, signals knowledge or expertise. It's only picked up over time. Makes you an expert in that arena because you're the experienced individual. Experience can be a verb, an action or an occurrence, an encounter. It's what every person's life is made up of. It's a string of daily encounters that are the puzzle pieces of your life. The number two thing that story illustrates is that a person with experience, along with their experience says, give the experienced person an advantage. It's not in my nature to look for opportunities to travel far and wide. I'm naturally a bit of a homebody. Number one, I always see millions of little tasks uh, that need to be done right up under my nose. Number two, traveling requires effort. To take yourself out of your comfort zone. More leg room that I know what to do with. If you stop for a minute and you think about the miracle of human flight, something that was just fantasy for past generations. The flight sits for next thing for departure. When the chance went by, from my muse to fly from this runway beach as a figure of speech. In a flight of words, little I imagined, men would treat this sky someday to a pageant. Like a thousand birds, neither you nor I ever thought to fly. But fly we did, literally fly. Ten floor. So much of travel is about giving up control. In my case, I'm thankful for parts of my job, in this case traveling with a college football team, that snatch me up out of my routine, force me to have different experiences. Hotels, flights, buses, sights, sounds. Is it inconvenient? Sure. Every time. Is it rewarding? Absolutely. Every time. Beautiful sunset though, or sunrise. You promised me to tell if there's anything haunting you. Decaf. You leave without saying where you're going away to. Yeah, I wanted to see about ordering some coffee and some breakfast. Okay, 7 a.m. Thank you. 7 a.m. My butt. 6.30 a.m. I've never seen a hotel that doesn't have either breakfast and or coffee or at least just coffee. I really hate to be a complainer. Just have never, never seen it before. No coffee. Anyway. Let's go. So that old saying, nothing comes easy that's worth having. Experiences don't come easy. 
there's always something inconvenient about it, but generally it's rewarding. Welcome to Death Valley. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's inferno, the devil's maze. It's a good world. Right here. So I'm taking the uh, SIM card out of my iPad to drive our data modem to uh, keep us on the air if the internet decides to oh, really? so go awry. Yeah, it's a it's a cellular backup. ourselves out of that bubble of comfort, the comfort zone, that is where we gain experience. Sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. Here's how Jonathan gets the equipment to the bus cinematically. 